Hello YouTube people, I went a little bit crazy and bought quite a bunch of ultra cheap watches on Aliexpress. My mission is to find something very nice for not so much money. We'll see how successful this mission is gonna be like. So the first part of ultra cheap watches has already arrived. So let me show you what I got. Now these are the first ones that have arrived. Uh, I'm not gonna show you all in a single video. For example, this little beautiful woman's watch. I'm gonna do a separate little video on this one. I bought it because because it just looks really beautiful and I just gonna give it away to my mom if she likes it so very nice little watch bracelet feels good no sharp edges hmm. surprisingly nice watch so gonna do a little separate review on that one also on this one I bought it because it looks very interesting and I may gonna try to disassemble this watch in the review and take out this shiny dial and see how it looks like without this shiny dial. So that's the plan for this watch. These three Ayazola watches, interesting thing, they have arrived with three separate batteries, which is very nice and very smart move from Yazola. But in this video, I gonna show you these two because uh, these two have external lug design. So I gonna show you these two in a separate video. Also, quick glance, very simple, yet elegant looking watch this one very interesting black dial very interesting black dial now in this video i'm gonna show you these two watches because they have integrated lug design first of all take a look how they look on the wrist uh, they look very feminine without lugs in my opinion i personally wouldn't wear this watch for me it, it looks a little bit too much like a woman's watch doesn't mean it's bad doesn't mean it's bad i kind of see the point simplistic well we'll take a better look later on we'll see how is the quality we'll, we'll do the measurements let's see another watch this one has black coating i don't know what kind of coating exactly it is doesn't have chapter ring and it does have red seconds hand looks a little bit different but the same style also instead of a black this one has brown uh, strap about straps also we'll show you later on hmm super clean super clean speaking about the strap how is it both of them are the same it's just a different color the inside of the strap is like plastic it's not breathable whatsoever and it's, it's very stiff you know it's stiff to the point where it's actually difficult to put it on the wrist like let me show you i'm putting this watch on the wrist okay the first step is easy but now bending this enough just to get inside these keepers that's the tricky part it's so stiff looks nice it's kind of soft to touch but it's rather stiff and it's not breathable but honestly i'm not complaining for this kind of price it's fine they look nice no quality control problems on the strap it's all right for the price it's all right i can't complain now let's check the quality of the movement on these watches usually the problem with ultra cheap watches like this is that uh, setting up the time is actually very annoying for example on this one minute hand is super jumpy and that's i would say that's big negative feels very cheap it's it's super sensitive another problem is that when i set the time for example 45 minutes and push the crown oh i can't even set it on 45 push the crown back in the minute hand jumps sometimes half of a minute like yeah that's not nah that's no good that's no good this one feels very jumpy how is the alignment six o'clock alignment is actually very good on this one how is this one oh it feels totally different the crown is very well dampened it's very well damp and you have to actually apply some force to turn the crown which is really nice oh hold on a second what was that was the minute hand skipping what uh okay let me try to screw it back in okay not, not a big deal not a big deal don't worry <laughs> sometimes it happens with those ultra cheap watches <laughs> wow i was happy that wow it feels so well damp and it's in the minute hand is not jumpy and all that and now i unscrew the crown <laughs> so anyway i can turn it i can set the time only turning one way if i turn another way i unscrew the crown <laughs> so here is the quality for you not so good oh i forgot to show you the alignment how how is the alignment oh it's actually perfect that's nice 
How about other problems? Are there any other quality control problems? Well, on the case, there is not a single scratch on these watches, which is nice. Uh, about the dust under the glass, they have them, they have them. For example, this one has a little tiny spectacle in the place where you would expect a logo would be. Just one dust I can find. And this one has quite a bit of dust right there on the edge, right there on the edge, also right there on the top. Yeah, this, this one is a little bit dusty. And another problem, this one with red seconds hand has semi-loud ticking sound. It's not as loud as something like Timex Weekender, but still a little bit annoying. <laughs> and look, when the seconds hand is ticking, hour and minute hand is jumping. Okay, so what are conclusions? Where they gonna go on my website? ThomasWatchReviews.com uh, They gonna go into an op tier, both of them. Sorry for wasting your time. Goodbye.